Site, and you try and click on your account to get in to see your pre-order of your VR treadmill, and okay. the website doesn't work. Well, that sucks. What exactly is Virtuous Omni? Virtuous Omni is a virtual reality treadmill creator, and this treadmill is going to allow you to move around within virtual reality computer worlds. That's killer, man. Okay, so about, I mean, the Oculus, what's that about? Well, the Oculus is a virtual reality headset that was created back in 2013 on Kickstarter as a development kit. And at the time, nobody thought this virtual reality technology was going to take off at all because the depth perception of the headset was so bad that it was making people sick and people couldn't use the VR headsets for more, more than a couple minutes at a time without getting nauseated but slowly but surely like any technology it progressed and advanced and now they've come out with newer headsets that people can use without really getting any kind of motion sickness anymore with it and you can do everything you can do on a computer within this headset that's killing man yeah like you can watch netflix in virtual reality and it's like your own little virtual reality living room with a TV in front of you and plays Netflix, like whatever show you want to watch. And That's good, cool, man. You should review the Oculus. Indeed, I've been thinking about <laughs> doing that. However, the Virtual Somni website does work when you act, try and access it from a phone. From like, I've tried accessing their website from my phone and I can, I'm able to log in that way. But you think you'd be able to view it on their webs, their actual computer website. Yeah. You know, yeah, I messaged them and they said they'd fix it and it was oh, fixed. Hey, so it's uh, somebody at the door. Let me go figure out who, uh, who that is. You can get, uh, continue talking to It's great. Smoke.
look who it is. Hi. How you been, man? Good. Right on, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Dude, what the fuck? Look at this thing. Hey, I'm okay, sorry. so uh, everybody, everybody on YouTube. Yeah, uh, this is Dane. What What's up? up? How's it going? I, didn't know I guess he, uh, he's also going to be in this Raven Dave session. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't stay too long, unfortunately. Oh, it's, it's, it's all right, right man. It's all right. You, you, hey, that's what it's called. Rip and dip. Uh, what, what do you think you do, bro? You run right on and you dip. Fuck you, idiot. Okay. That was 13%. There we go. Good, dude. We just played in a show recently. Fucking uh, at the Doll Hut. It went fucking great, dude. I got this new bass player. He was playing for, you know, Motorhead? Oh, yeah, you got Motorhead, sir. Yeah. yeah, my bass player, he fucking was playing for Motorhead the last three months because Lemmy was a little old, you know? Yeah. And so, like, he couldn't sing and play the bass, so they didn't have his bass plug in, but he would be singing. And so this bass player I, I have now is fucking, he was the dude playing the bass behind the fucking curtain Sweet. and shit. He toured in Motorhead. He's, like, a fucking professional musician. This dude from fucking Universal fucking, he hooked me up with this fucking show uh, out in fucking, at the Dollhead, you know, because he's been, like, following my band for a while. He really believes in me and shit, so, like, he fucking, like, Put us on there and had this dude come down just to see the set, dude. And this dude just charged like five hundred dollars of practice, thousand dollars a show. He's not gonna fucking charge me anything. He just wants to be in my band, dude. Nice. And so like, I'm just trying to find a steady drummer now because I got a really good drummer, but he's just like more caught up with work, you know. And then I got another good drummer, Riverside, and I'm just trying to find someone who's gonna be steady and ready for it because I'm trying to fucking do this as hard as can. And if I see the behind you, what? Yeah, I can probably do that for you. You know, I'm yeah, but I still, I still have school, so I'll have a schedule that works. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, but, dude, yeah. I, don't, I don't even have a fucking re regular job right now, dude. Like, oh, I'm right, just right. like a bum, music bum, dude. Like, that's what I'm doing, dude. <laughs> right. But that's the only way, dude, man. Fucking follow your dreams, do it 100%, dude. Or else right. you're not going to fucking get shit if you don't believe in yourself. <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, I got to see Corn last night. Yeah, nice, dude. That's fucking that's awesome, dude. I've I seen him one time a street scene in, like, San Diego, 1999. <laughs> Yeah, it was the hardest shit pot shit I've ever been in. <laughs> One guy was leaving and his whole ear was all like dripping blood. I think like somebody bit his ear or something. Oh shit. Yeah. And somebody pulled the fire alarm inside. Right. Of the house of blues and during the whole first band set, the fire alarm was going off. And the, the front man of the of the opening act was like, Really? <laughs> Not now. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Was that a snap? <coughs> Hell yeah, thank you. That was a monster snap. Fuck yeah. <coughs> All right, now your next party, brother. There you go. Pop this mouthpiece in there. Take this clean and rip into your lungs, man. Damn it, I should have been boy. Boy, we can. Thanks for smoke out, man. Definitely. Hey, that's why it's called Rip and Dip, brother. You come, you rip and you dip. Fuck yeah, dude. <coughs> um, Alright. Let's continue rolling. Oh my god, it's fucking cool. I kind of wish that I could aim with my head instead of having to, like, aim with my arms. Because, like, that's really confusing because you hold your arms up. And then you kind of have to go like this. Mm -hmm. It will fly behind you to the ground now. Zap! The speedster will move in the direction you're facing. Oh! Oh my god, Silver Spade! Fuck yeah! Okay, okay. Zaps! Zaps! Make you want more that fire nemesis! Fire sure. hydrants! Sure, right Okay. Good. I like the fire, and I like the super speedy. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and play uh, Mario Kart. Kill it. Okay, that should be good. Alright, I'll be right 
back out and you grab a uh, Wiimote batteries. Price of the Rift and the Touch Together is $598 now. Oh, that's way better. And it comes with a, uh, a copy of Robo Recall. That's killer, it's dude. Like this new robot virtual reality game where robots take over the planet, and it's like a uh, kind of like the time, old time Crisis arcade game. Right on. But with robots. Right on. There's a guy last night at the um, corn concert. Right. And he had like. Uh, yeah, you left your keys and jacket, man. Yeah, I left my jacket. <laughs> right over there. They did. Sorry. It's all good. Peace, man. You got it, brother. You're going to have to get another trap on. Hey, you know what I've been wanting to do, but I haven't had the time to do lately? What's that? I just haven't found the time to do it. I need to rehack my Wii so it can play, uh, you know, like the Super Nintendo emulators and all that again. I, I just miss that ability. I and mean, then once I put it on there, I just don't care anymore. It's I'm not terrible. sure you're supposed it's to do that. Habit. I'm not sure you're supposed to do that. You might avoid the original warranty. Oh, right. <laughs> well, Nintendo sucks anyway. They're run by a crazy bastard now. Uh, one of these. Will not read anymore because the hack is removed and I haven't figured out which one that is yet. Oh, nice. Last night at the concert, I caught a can that um, Corn's guitar guitarist Brian Head Welch threw into <laughs> into the crowd. You know how much money you make off of that, man? Just put it on eBay right now. And I, and I caught it and then chugged the rest of it. And I was like, yes, I got his Monster Energy drink! <laughs> Because at the end of every show that I've been to, they always throw stuff off That's the right. stage. Skynet. And they throw picks and drumsticks, and this time the uh, um, drummer of Corn took one of his um, heads off one of his drums. The, like the top part that you just, the plastic part that you hit, and he threw it into the crowd. And dude, I've never felt like I was like right in the front. When I, that was like right after I caught the can, and then the drummer went to go throw the, the one of the heads of the drums Kill out into the crowd, and just the whole crowd lunged forward. Like my hat fell off, and I had to like really jump up and grab it really quick. And that's killing. It was definitely a very cool experience. Oh god damn it! The Nintendo Wii probably runs on that 2.4 wireless G frequency. Probably. That means it's not going to be able to connect to the internet unless I go on my computer right now and change the router settings. That pisses me off, man. Alright, well guys, sorry, I can't show you Nintendo Wii YouTube. So we're just going to go ahead and do what we uh, originally planned and play Mario Kart. Sounds good. Once again, I call Toad. <laughs> He's saying he calls Toad. Alright. You ever been to EDC in Vegas? Uh, I think so. I don't, I don't know so, but... We should go sometime. Well... Uh, All the biggest EDM DJs play there. <laughs> Killer. Well, we got one. You 
going to see the Wu Tang Clan a couple weeks from now. Right on. They're going to play their um, original album, um, Return to the 36 Chambers. That's the name of the tour. And they're going to play. They're going to play that album also. Right on. In its entirety. That's right, I have to give you a controller. In order to play the game, oh, we require these things called controllers. Oh yeah, that's right. We, can't, we, just can't. <laughs> we might we might have virtual reality headsets now, I'm, but I'm, we still can't control I'm, the video game, you know. I'm thinking spatial too much in the future, man. Too damn much in the future. Peace out, you two. Peace out, you two. So that concludes this with the gift set. Peace out, brother.